I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to put your stitches back on your needle when you when your needle falls out of your knitting. Oops. Back up a little bit. I need to have the tip of my needle come out where the yarn is. So I'm going to turn this around and put my needle back through those loops. I know that I have them on right if on this side the loop of the stitch leans forward and the back of the stitch leans back. So the front needs to be forward, the back needs to lean back. If I was to put my stitch on this way, I would know it was wrong because the stitch leans to the left instead of the right and the back leans to the right instead of the left. It needs to be on where the stitch is ready to be knit. It leans to the right. If you don't pull your fabric or pull your yarn, it's usually pretty easy to pick up stitches that have fallen off your knitting needle. That one's a little bit tricky. Okay, now I'm ready to do something else on this row. But now I'm going to show you a seed stitch, which is just like ribbing, except that you move your stitch over once. So I begin by doing the same thing as a rib, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, across the row. Okay, now with the seed stitch, um, you do the opposite of the ribbing. Where it is smooth, you purl. Where it is bumpy, you knit. And what will happen um, is you'll create a fabric that does not, is not as elastic as ribbing, but it has a, a nice texture to it. This is bumpy. If I was doing a ribbing, I would purl here. But I'm doing seed stitch, so I'm going to knit. This is smooth, so I'm going to purl. You kind of have to get yourself to the point where you recognize what your previous stitch was and what your desired outcome is. Now if I turn this over, you can see that it's starting to make a very textured fabric. It's kind of a checkerboard pattern where you have smooth, bumpy, smooth, bumpy, smooth, bumpy like a checkerboard. I'll do a couple more rows and I'll show you the the effect that it, that makes. Okay, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six rows of seed stitch. Did you see how I counted that? I know that one row has, is bumpy on this side. That's one row. This is another row because it's bumpy on the opposite stitch. So I counted my bumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do one more row to remind you that seed stitch is knit when it's bumpy on this side, purl when it's smooth on this side, knit, purl, knit, 
pearl. Bumpy needs to be knit. And you see this is not bumpy. See how there's a a stitch coming out of the bump, so it's been it needs to be purled this time. There's no st stitch coming out of this bump, so it needs to be knit this time. That makes a, a really fun texture. Do you see the checkerboard effect? <laughs> 